All right, fellas, today's video is going to be all about me showing you and doing a little bit of a demo on the actual CRM that I built on ClickUp, okay? And it seems to me that you guys really enjoy when I do CRM videos or whenever I showcase some of the tools or apps or softwares that we're using in our business. So because of that reason, I just want to basically go over a CRM that we have recently implementing in our sales process to make sure that we never lose a lead once they are pretty much qualified and once they book the call, okay? For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Enrique and I help marketing agencies as well as B2B coaches or consultants start or scale their business. And of course, we actually have a unique protocol in order to do so. You can actually find out with the link in the description. But what I want to do for today is actually talk about some higher level stuff that nobody really talks about. But at the end of the day, is one of the keys to the kingdom when it comes to scaling a company. Because you can book as many calls as you want. You can actually uh, close as many deals as you want. But I've heard people such as Cole Gordon say that half of their monthly revenue comes from long-term follow-ups and from actually squeezing as much money as possible from the leads that for whatever reason they cannot close. Whether that's by using a reoffer, whether that's by doing some sort of different payment options, whatever it might be. And that's why on today's video, I want to basically walk you through the ClickUp Sales CRM that we've been using to maximize the efficiency per lead that we have, as well as how we can combine everything into a single workflow, as well as the automations, etc. Also, I need to stay till the end of the video because I will show you how you can get this same template to, so that you can steal it and use it in your business, like you probably did for the Google Sheet CRM, which is my most watched YouTube video. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a bonus on how you can just every single day focus on your hottest leads and maximizing the efficiency of your business. Okay, guys? So without further ado, let's just begin. Like four months ago, I made a YouTube video where I walked you over the Google Sheet CRM that we use to keep track of our leads from our outbound prospecting campaigns. And this CRM on Google Sheets, honestly, is the best one. If you're just getting started, I, I suggest you use this one and focus only on that one. It's really strategic that at the beginning you use as a Google Sheets CRM or even Excel, I of course prefer Google Sheets, to keep track of your leads because you will see, look at the amount of, of leads that you're going to start having once you actually start doing a whole bunch of outreach volume, once you start putting some micro VSLs in the internet, what is going to happen is that, yeah, you're going to have so many leads and that's why you need to use a Google Sheet CRM. I basically have all of my leads in my Facebook group and also on my Instagram profile, you can see this is the beauty that you can just focus on the, on the different types of leads. And of course, you can see here, you can even add the follow up dates, some notes, etc. And by the way, you can go and watch an in-depth video that I will leave over there in the description on this exact Google Sheets template. So you can just watch it with the link in the description. The problem that we started facing is that as time went by, you can see like we were booking 20, 30 calls per week. So what ended up happening is that just that having one CRM where I have just my call leads, my warm leads, my everything, people who booked a call, people who didn't book a call, people who I booked, sent a currently link to in a single place was a little bit of a mess. And even for my sales rep, what I want, we decided to notice is that the Google Sheets is in the realm of the appointment setters and the SDRs or MDRs so that they can focus on the colder leads, if that makes sense. Here's where the actual ClickUp CRM entered the game. What we started doing with our ClickUp CRM is that we basically, and I will show you the automations and everything in a second, so Please stick with me till the end. What we started doing is that we set up an automation on ClickUp so that every single time that somebody books a call on Calendly, which is the event scheduler that we use on our YouTube videos, in our content on social media, the one that we send on our album campaigns to prospects once they're interested to hop on a call with us, etc. So that every single time that someone books a call, they get added as a ClickUp task in our sales CRM list, okay? So you can see these are people who book the first call or these are people who booked that sales call. These are people who we booked that follow-up call with. These are people who didn't show up to our sales calls. These are people who we made re-offers to or we're going to do re-offers to in a certain date, long-term follow-ups and deals that we've closed, okay? I just want you guys to know, we actually started using this like two weeks ago, so it's pretty recent, okay? But what I want you guys to understand how simple this is. Of course, this is made for our sales process. In case that you're doing two call closing, what you can do is have first call booked and second call booked so you can move people through the pipeline really, really simply, okay? So before I keep explaining how this LCRM works, I want to show you the Sapier integration that we put in place so that we can actually maximize this, okay? So what we do is we actually use Calendly to book appointments, and what we do is that once someone, all right, guys, so what we do with Sapier is that where every single time someone books a call on Calendly, okay, we actually, okay, the, the SAP starts to run, 
and here is the actual action. The on ClickUp, it's going to create a task inside of our growth space, inside of the sales CRM list, and the actual task name is the inviting name on Calendly, okay? So that's why every single task that you see here is basically the name of the inviting on Calendly. We also add the call date, the email, the phone number, and the platform, and the questions and as well answers for, from every lead so that it auto-populates inside of ClickUp. So in case that somebody no-shows, we can immediately call him and, and the sales rep can literally just spend their time on ClickUp instead of having to leave the wires, I don't know. And I also like to add a tag so that I everything at a glance, I can know which platforms are bringing the most leads for us. For example, if it's YouTube, if it's Twitter, if it's Instagram, etc. so on and so forth. But again, the magic comes now that everybody that books a call via Calendly, they create a, a new task is created on ClickUp, okay? So it's pretty simple. The moment that the task is created, you can see here, the actual SAP is going to send them to the sales call booked custom field that we created, okay? Just so you guys know, if you guys are familiar with ClickUp and I don't want to get so much into depth into with this, but I really don't like to use different statuses because that adds complexity and statuses are reflected in the everything view that ClickUp has over here. And I don't like that. I prefer to keep my statuses simple, so like to do and complete, that's it. And what I do instead is actually inside of the list settings, what I like to do is actually create, look at this, custom fields. We have the stage custom field. And you can, here's where you can decide the sales process and the different stages of your deals, okay? So you can have option one, sales call booked, follow up call booked, no show, reoffer, long term follow ups, closed, closed, lost, etc. And you can just move it as, 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 as whatever works best for you. For us, this is the way it works, okay? And it's pretty simple because then what you can, what you can do is at a glance, see, use ClickUp as your CRM. By the way, the reason why I like to use ClickUp as the CRM, as a, my CRM of choice when it comes to the hot leads or people who booked calls already, is because we already manage all of our operations inside of ClickUp. So it doesn't make sense to have HubSpot or Pipedrive or whatever it might be for CRM, ClickUp as a project management and et cetera. Because the beauty about ClickUp is that it works phenomenally well for anything. You actually know how to use it well. And it also integrates really well with other platforms or with other um, different for up with other apps, such as Google Sheets, which is the one that we use for our album prospecting campaigns. So all I have is my sales CRM list, and inside of my list, I have the lead tracker view that is basically my Google Sheets. I have the hotline, hot lead pipeline. We basically use to keep track of everything from all of the prospects, and at any given time, we can just um, know what's happening when and etc. But here is the actual bonus that I wanted to give you guys, and I'm gonna stick till the end because I will show you how you can get this template absolutely for free. You can see here that we have another, uh, another view that is called all actions, okay? What the all actions view means is that your sales reps, every single day, this is part of the SOP that we have for our sales reps and that you can just replicate and steal from us and just apply it to your business, is that all of the prospects or all of the people who book calls they need to have a due date. Whether the due date is the day of the call or the day of the follow-up call or the reoffer, the date in which you are going to do a reoffer, etc. Like every single prospect needs to have a due date. And the reason why is because in the all actions view, what we like to do is, of course, add a filter where we actually say that we only show tasks where the due date is today and earlier in case that it's past due. And what that means is that our closers, all they have to do is take the sales calls, close the deals, and live their life in the all actions view, doing either follow-ups or reoffers or confirming attendance manually with prospects of that are going to have sales calls later that day. And that way, all of my sales reps can focus just on the all actions view inside of ClickUp, and my appointment setters or the SDRs or the VAs or whoever is managing the appointment setting frameworks can work on the Google Sheets CRM because everything is managed over there for them, okay? So this is how the way we have this set up. If you want to get access to this CRM, and again, look, you can see here, we actually made this a template. All you gotta do is basically go to my Instagram and DM me the word CRM, and I will share this with you directly. Or the second option is that you come and join my free face group and you can, of course, get access to it from there. So yeah, guys, basically this was just a really short and sweet one. This, is, this one is more helpful, more about how we are now leveraging ClickUp as our sales CRM of choice, only for the super hot leads and the reoffers after the cold sales call was booked. And we still use, of course, Google Sheets prior to booking the calls, okay? Once the call is booked, we have that automation so that it sends people over here on ClickUp. Hopefully this one was helpful and see you guys in the next one. Bye.